Since 2004, we've had the privilege of witnessing two of the finest football players ever battle it out for the gold title. They've got 11 Ballon d'Ors between them, have scored more goals than I can count, and have beaten records as casually as you and I eat cereal in the morning. But what happens when Messi and Ronaldo retire? And what will it do to football in the coming years? Let's discuss. And here he is again. Here he is again. That's astonishing. It's absolutely world class. Obviously, you can't replace two of the finest players ever, which also means that when they retire, we'll need to get used to hat tricks becoming special again and something that happens a few times only in a player's career, not a couple of times a season. Seriously, they're scoring a hat trick at something in between every 16th and 18th match. Ridiculous. Messi takes everybody on. Messi has got it! 19 years of age. He gets a hat trick. The same thing can be said for goals, where a 30 goal season will probably go back to being a great season for players instead of a mediocre one for Ronaldo and Messi. And finally, other players actually have a chance of winning the Ballon d'Or again. Will anyone ever win five or six again? Which brings me into records. Messi and Ronaldo have broken records. A lot of records. Seriously, there's a website listing all of their individual records and um, it's a long list. But I'm pretty sure that when they retire, we'll see their records stand for a long, long time. I mean, who can break Messi scoring 92 goals in a calendar year? Ronaldo banging in 60 plus goals a year for four years straight, Messi grabbing four Ballon d'Ors in a row, or Ronaldo winning a title in all three major leagues. <laughs> nah, that won't happen in a long, long time. Another thing we probably won't see for a while is a GOAT level player rivalry. Okay, there's been a few good, hearty rivalries over the years, but the only real legends that are compared against each other would be Cruyff against Beckenbauer in the 70s, Maradona and Pele, and of course, Ronaldo and Messi. Are there any current players who can take over? Mm, Mbappe maybe? Sure, but against who? And is Mbappe really both level? I'm not sure. But he needs a rival no matter what. And I'll be honest, that's probably what I'll miss the most. The rivalry, the whole pushing each other to greater things every week. We shared this stage 15 years, yeah. me and him. I don't know if it's ever happened in football. Because by having that, football fans have had something to discuss no matter where in the world they are. Not everyone cares about discussing tactics. But everyone who's ever watched football will have an opinion on Messi versus Ronaldo. And a strong opinion at that. Hell, they're so good that even people who know nothing about football will have an opinion on who's better. So when they step back, football will lose that piece of magic. But there's one thing I think most people haven't thought about, and that's how the brands will react to two of the most marketable football players and maybe even athletes ever retiring. I mean, Nike and Adidas will be fine, but Ronaldo and Messi have continued when Michael Jordan started in becoming synonymous with Adidas and Nike. Of course, no one will ever be able to fill their boots, but I'm pretty sure we'll see Nike and Adidas trying to find the next big marketable star. And you can argue it's already going on with Nike giving signature boots to Sancho and Mbappe to kind of test the waters and see if they can find the next big thing. They will have a big vacuum to fill. And while you can probably never find someone to replace the familiarity of Messi and Ronaldo, Nike and Adidas will try and try their best to find new ones. New Messis and new Ronaldos. And this is probably the one thing that I personally hope won't happen. That every time a new young talent comes up, people will call him or her the new Messi or next Ronaldo. I mean, how can they ever live up to that? We've seen in golf with Tiger Woods that it's hard to fill the void of one man and basketball took a long time to find LeBron James after Michael Jordan. And this is one man. We have two 
So let's enjoy what they've given us, except that it's been an anomaly and a different level and then go back to letting good players be good players without comparing them to two of the finest football players ever. What do you say? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe with the notifications on and then go learn some nice football skills in the playlist in the bottom of your screen. With that said, I'll be signing off. Cheerio.